keeping myself up here, getting shaped and sparring and get back to the ring. Uh, this process I experienced a feeling of, of, of de desperation and ending up near death emotionally. Uh, I experienced my soul was coming down my body. And that moment on something heavenly happened. Um, I was looking for the answer. What's the purpose? What's the purpose of life? But this was the first moment in my life that I had to stop everything what I was doing. I couldn't run. I couldn't box. And that's what I did. And I don't have friends. I don't have family. I don't have any other purpose in this life in your city. Um, and I looked for the answer. What's the purpose of life? Why I'm here? Why I came from Japan? Why I'm boxing? For what? Just because I want to become a champion? Just because I want to, to be successful? Um, then the answer came to my mind that I found boxing. My true passion made me sacrifice anything that I had to sacrifice, overcame with every hardship and became a strong person and became a good person because I have my passion. And I can help people to, to help them finding a passion, true passions, and from there overcoming hardships. And then, and what if you, what do you, if you, when you, when, when, when the test comes, what do you do? How do you react? And what's, what's, what's that mean? What's the sign? So there's a pattern. I learned from my own history that there's a pattern in my life. Uh, hardships overcoming and then reward. Hardships overcoming and then you gain something and you lose something at the same time. However, I took a big risk knowing that I can be seriously hurt and lose my health. Uh, it was not good enough reason for me to stop boxing and because my passion took over. I argued with my doctor. I said, I'm not going to listen. I'm going back. Uh, my, my passion took over. It was not a good enough reason for me. And then from there I survived for several years and uh, something started, heavenly started happening. And a miracle, I call miracles, started happening. And all of a sudden, after years of, 10 years of a very poor life and uh, miserable life, um, all of a sudden I have sponsorship, all of a sudden the door is opening and other door is opening. Uh, many new things happened in my life and I just felt like this is it, this is my time, I'm going to be the champion, finally. And I felt it, I felt it. And then, I left New York City to California for two years. Uh, I was uh, training with, with uh, a great coach in California and I was excited. I could finally. I continued training. I was in shape. I was ready for the fight. And, um, but not still things are not moving forward the way I want. Why? I don't know. I'm looking for an answer. I'm looking. I'm looking for an answer. I can't find an answer. I'm giving everything I have. I'm doing everything right. And it has to be right. It has to be right. But I'm limited. Why? I'm so limited. I look for the answer for every successful people in, in the financial field, in, in, in the political field, and in the business field. And I can't find the answer. Nobody has the answer for me. And then I meet this man. He is a Muslim world champion, boxer. And he, without mentioning a word, he had all the answer for me. And he was most humble. He was truthful. He was kind. He was loving, he was simple, all these great qualities that he had, that was my answer. I didn't realize I had it, I was born with it, I lost it. Do I go through the, the, the society, big society like New York City or London or Japan? I lost it. And that was my answer, is simply is that, which doesn't require uh, uh, high, high skill, doesn't require uh, high knowledge. Um, and uh, one day I, I fall in love with this person, and, but I was scared. I'm losing boxing, I'm losing focus. So I decided to leave a true love behind, and so I can focus on boxing. Came back to New York City, continued four months. And then one day, everything was taken away. My trainer was gone, my fight was gone, my, 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 my passion was gone. It was taken away. Like after I gave up my true love, and what else left? I have nothing left. So I was desperate, and uh, one day I, 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 I felt the air is changed, so I stopped everything I was doing, and then I got this phone call, the lady from Paris. She told me, the piece of puzzle is missing, but everything else you're ready. But what's the piece of the puzzle? The piece of puzzle is about the Creator. You don't know about the Creator? 
you have to study, open the Bible, go to the church, and learn about the God. So I did. I went to uh, Hindu ceremonies. I went to church. I went to uh, 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 temple, Buddhist temples. I went to uh, mosques. That was my last stop. And in the second that I arrived in the mosque, I put my forehead down on the, on the ground and prostrate. And then the tears come out of my mind, my, my eyes. And my heart and my soul deeply said to me, it took me a long journey to, to, to come back where I'm coming from. And that didn't, uh, that immediately I wanted to be this Muslim and uh, Muslim. And um, I started to go into the mosques uh, on Friday and I took a Shahada and I became a Muslim. It was six months ago. And uh, today I left my personal mission behind, which is true passion, boxing, and true, true, true love. Someone that I truly loved and wanted to get married. I left behind because I have a new mission today, which is my new mission is to embrace Islam to my country and hopefully to the world. And that became my passion and that became my mission to me today. And so I was sad because it's, it's hard to let go of something that you love so much. And your, 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 your passion, your love, it's so hard. But for, to me, this is the right thing to do. And this is gonna, uh, this is gonna be uh, more bigger challenging than boxing or anything else. And I finally, uh, Allah touched my heart, and I'm willing to serve Him the rest of my life and embrace Islam as best I could, I can. And that's gonna be my new mission. And I'm very happy. I have peace in my heart.